Hello and welcome to Dear Franny. I'm your host, Francesca Hoagie. I'm a recovered lawyer turned love and life coach, and this podcast is the place where I talk all things love and true love, from dating and relationships to manifesting a life that you love. Thank you for being here. Hello, I am Francesca Hoagie, and welcome to Dear Franny Podcast. It has been quite a while since I last recorded. Happy New Year, happy 2024, even though it's the end of March, so I shouldn't probably still be saying that, but I haven't spoken to you. So just know that I am sending you lots of love. You have been on my mind. I've had a very busy start to 2024, as I know that many of you can relate. It seems like there's a lot going on right now for a lot of people in my life. We're all kind of like, yeah, what's going on? Um, So there's something energetically happening, but also I have been working on my book. So I'm kind of almost halfway through writing it, which is pretty exciting, but still has a lot of work to do. I have been really giving that a lot of my time and my attention because it's my book and, you know, writing this book, the opportunity to write this book, having the ability to write the exact book that I'm writing, by the way, the title is how to find true love. And there is currently a subtitle, but it's up for discussion, so I won't get into that. But just know that this is a really comprehensive book that incorporates everything that I have learned from now 11 years of doing this work of helping people to get into healthy relationships. And, you know, it's complicated. If it was really simple, if it was really straightforward, then people wouldn't need people like me to really think about it and to work with people and to really come up with tools and solutions and answers and all of that good stuff. And I'm just so excited that I get to put it all in one place. And I actually am going to have this book that is something that I, I have many intentions for the book, but my primary intention has been to have a book that I can be proud of and can help so many people to transform their love lives for many years to come. So I'm not looking to just write a book for the sake of writing a book. I have always really known that this was a matter of timing and waiting till I was ready and the timing was right and the timing is right. So I'm really excited about the book and also just looking at what's going on culturally in our lives, in our world, in dating culture specifically, with the loneliness pandemic, with dating app fatigue, with so much polarization politically and otherwise, you know, it's a challenging time that we're all navigating. And, you know, my heart and my passion and my work is really dedicated to helping people to live their lives more fully, particularly when it comes to love, right? And so in my personal life, I have long been someone who I consider myself to be a manifester. Those of you who have been listening to my podcast for years know that I did an entire season about manifestation. Those of you who know me from Clubhouse or beyond know that, well, for more than three years, for three years, I hosted a room about manifestation on the audio platform Clubhouse called Manifestation Monday. Didn't miss a Monday for three years. Then it went to monthly and I did have to pause Manifestation Monday. So it's not currently happening anywhere. But uh, and just for the reasons of, like I said, there's a lot going on in the book and bandwidth and all of those good things. And also all good things must come to an end and they must evolve. And when I started Manifestation Monday, the reason that I wanted to have that conversation was because I just really loved talking about manifestation. And I am someone who for years had been very intentionally manifesting literally everything in my life from where I live to my dog, to my relationship, to my career, to my TED talk, to my book deal, to so many things, weight loss, all sorts of things. I have really leaned hard (laughs) into the power that we have to really use our desire, but also the power of the universe that we connect to through our gratitude, through our intention, through our ability to receive what is right for us in this world and to really tap into ourselves and know what that is. It's easy to call yourself manifesting something that isn't right for you. And then, you know, you're spending a lot of energy and maybe you're doing it because you think you should, or that's what's going to make you happy, but it's not connected to a deeper place. And I'm all about helping people to connect to that deeper place because otherwise you're going to just be playing, as I call it, whack-a-mole with your life. You're going to be, okay, this thing is a problem. Let me fix this. You know, let's, let's take dating, for example. Let's take the journey to manifesting true love as an example. So there are plenty of people who are like, okay, I'm having 
this problem I'm, you know, with dating. And so it's like, okay, fix that. Okay. Another problem springs up. Okay. Fix that problem. Okay. Wait there. Now there's this pattern. Okay. Fix that problem. And you just keep going and going kind of just troubleshooting and really managing the circumstances as they just happen to arise. And what I am really passionate about helping people to do is to really transcend so much of that, just running around in circles, expending your energy, trying to put out little fires and fix little problems, but to actually go to a deeper place where it's like, okay, wait, what do I actually want? What do I actually believe that I am being called to experience in this life? I happen to believe that if you have a desire for love, then, well, so does everyone. Not everybody wants a romantic relationship. So, I mean, you know, that's fine and that's great. But for those of us who do, and we really do understand the power of that, and we understand the power of it because we can feel it inside, right? We can feel that connection. We can feel that desire. And as humans, we all want to be seen. We want to be loved unconditionally for who we are. And if you think about babies, when we're born into this world, right, we are so open, we're so open hearted, we're so willing to just love, to let love in, to give love. And then life starts happening and lots of things that give us messages that maybe we're not here to be the loving beings that we actually were born to be. And all of that gets really complicated. Then when you add on, okay, well, now I want a romantic partner. And now I've got to navigate what society has said about that. I have to navigate the fairy tale industrial complex. And I have to navigate a dating culture that's very much based in fear. We're talking about love and, you know, the opposite of love is fear. And yet so many people are leading with fear when it comes to their romantic relationships, right? Afraid to open your heart, afraid to make the wrong choice, afraid that you're going to be hurt. You know, there's so much fear and it's all really, really understandable. But for me and for what I feel that I'm here to do and the change that I'm trying to affect on this planet, it's really helping people to transcend that fear, to use the power of love, to transcend the fear of being loved or not being loved or not being lovable or not being good enough, all of those fears that we all can relate to. I'm really passionate about helping people to transcend that fear. So then from a place of groundedness, of reality, of the connection to your inherent worthiness, now you can combine your romantic intention with a larger orientation towards love, right? So I'm really about making love true love, romantic love, an inevitable outcome of how you show up in your life and how you live your life and the energy and the intention that you bring to having love in the center of your life overall. So I said a lot, <laughs> but the reason that I'm hopping in with this unscheduled episode is because all along this whole you know, journey, starting to really become somebody who mentors people specifically around manifestation, in addition to finding love, I'm launching a new program and it is combining those two things, my two passions, my two favorite things to talk about, <laughs> manifesting and dating. <laughs> and I am launching a six month mentorship and it's called Believe and Receive. And it's really, I was so inspired to launch this program because I can just feel energetically when I talk to people, when I see what's going on in the world, I get on social media, it is just time for us to believe in more. It is time for us to have a, a higher vision of love for ourselves, for the world. It is time for us to finally feel worthy. It's time for us to take the things that we logically know are true. Like we know, oh yeah, love is the strongest, you know, most powerful force in the universe. Love is good. I should lean into love. We all intellectually know that. But then how do you combine that with navigating life? How do you combine that with feeling unworthy or not good enough? or being self-critical and then combine that with the dating culture and dating apps and and how fraught all of that can be it is a lot right and because it is a lot that is why i'm launching this program because we're really beyond the point where you can just get quote dating advice like we're just beyond that point i saw something on social media the other day and i was like oh my gosh if this was 10 years ago this would have been a really cool post and it was about dating app profiles and i'm like at this point we're just beyond 
just focusing on things like dating app profiles when we're dealing with so many people who genuinely don't know how to love themselves, much less receive love from another person, much less you know, know how to actually prioritize the right things in choosing a partner. But beyond all of that, to even just believe that what they want, the love that they want is possible to them, to tap into that faith, to that belief, to expand your capacity, to receive it, to let it in. And that's why I am launching Believe and Receive because it is time. We can't be messing around with this anymore. It's time to get serious about getting yourself to the place where letting the love in that you want is like I said, it is a natural extension of how you are already living your life. And you also just have a better understanding of like, okay, well, what is manifestation? How does it actually work? What are the tools? What are the principles? In this, you know, six months together and believe and receive, the focus is romantic love, but all the principles of manifestation are the same and they apply to everything. So my goal for everyone who spends this six months with me in this program that you're not just leaving with a better love life and feeling better and being further along on your romantic love journey, but you're also much more equipped to just be like me, <laughs> like you probably already are, which is that person who manifests in your life just as a matter of, well, this is something that I want. I personally do not know all of the steps to make that happen, right? And that's what we're talking about with manifestation and why it's such a perfect combination when it comes to romantic love, because yeah, you do not know exactly where that person is. And by the way, there's more than one person. You don't know exactly who you're going to meet and when you're going to meet them. There's a lot of unknowns and there's a lot of circumstances of your life that might make those unknowns feel even more stressful. Like when you're like, well, maybe where I live, there aren't a lot of single people, or maybe I, you know, I'm not on the apps and I don't know how to meet people off the apps or, you know, or maybe my age or my fill in the blank. There's lots of reasons why we can feel disconnected from love, but that is why transcending that fear and really connecting internally is so, so, so critical. And that's what we're going to do and believe and receive. Okay. So I want to give you just a quick, just overview, please, you know, there'll be a link in the show notes. You can go to geofranny.com slash believe to learn more. So I'm not going to read you all of the details of the program because, you know, I'll let you read that on your own, but I do want to just give you really quickly an overview of the six months together and the different topics that we're going to be covering. So in April, we are launching and we are starting with the theme of time to believe. So just like I said, you know, we are at a time in our culture, in our world, in our collective journey of evolution where it is time for us to believe in something higher, something more, and to tap into that. So that's what we're going to focus on, but within yourself. So this is all about you. And that's going to be the focus of time to believe the first month. We're also going to kick it off with a 30 day self love challenge because I mean, why not? And then we're going to move on to feelings of worthiness. So May, we're going to focus on feeling worthy. So the theme of May is time to feel worthy. So how can we actually start to become unshakable in our feelings of self worth and unshakable in our faith that our lives have meaning, our journeys have meaning, that there is a higher love in the universe that is looking out for us and supporting us. In June, we're going to move on to time to embrace intention and gratitude. So these are two very, very powerful forces that we all know. We've all used them before in our lives, but really to be very intentional about using them. So we're going to focus on that in June. In July, it's all about it being time to understand your spiritual assignment. So one thing that makes me so like drives me crazy is when I see people who are putting so much effort into dating and to putting themselves out there, but they're just going about it in a way that is so unlikely to actually yield the love and the relationship that they're looking for. So just like basically their strategy is just way off. And I'm not one to say that they can't find it. Anything is possible. The universe is greater than me and my advice on this topic. But I really do believe that all of us are on a love journey. And in order to move to that next phase, that next destination of your love journey, there are things within you that you need to do to be ready for that, to be aligned with that, to be in cooperation with that outcome that you want to receive. And so that's what July is really focusing on is how to get clear on that, how to make sense of your love journey and, you know, how to make sense of what's come before 
how to heal what's come before so you can move forward with more confidence and more clarity. And then in August, we're going to talk about taking aligned action. So we're going to get more tactical into actually, you know, dating. So creating a love centered dating action plan. There's going to be a 30 day mojo activation challenge. So you can get really in touch with that inner magnetism that you have, whether you have been using it and tapping into it or not, you're going to start to do that now. In September, it's time to transcend resistance, Ugh, resistance. So this is what we have to really, when we're manifesting, right? Like you decide what you want, you set that intention. And then <laughs> now you actually have to follow that up by noticing what's coming up in your life, where you want to resist action, what lessons you're not learning, right? What are you not hearing? And how can you start to actually pay attention to what's going on there? So the resistance is no longer holding you back. And then October, last but not least, you know, it's time to receive. And so we're going to be talking about that. I mean, throughout the whole six months, we're going to be talking about receiving and expanding your capacity to do so in various ways. But it's really nice to have a theme for the month and a focus for each month. And we're not just going to talk about it, but you're going to have video master classes each month inside the uh, Believe and Receive community. You're going to have an amazing, supportive, safe community. It's going to be great. So like I said, check out geofranny.com slash believe to learn more. You can also just find me on socials, wherever you are. I am at Dear Franny. I'm on Instagram and all the places. I would love to see you in the program. We are starting in mid-April but enrollment will stay open until May. So if you're hearing this before the beginning of May, please do join us. Any classes that we have in, inside of the program will be recorded. So you have access to that and all the materials. And there's gonna be a lot of good stuff. So I don't, like I said, I keep on saying, I'm not gonna say more, but I do. <laughs> I'm gonna wrap it up now, but thank you so much for listening. And if you are at a place in your life where you are ready to finally manifest the love that you want and you have reached the limit of what you know how to do to make love happen you've reached the limit of knowing how to make yourself believe more to have more confidence to have more faith if you are somebody who can um, relate to being able to manifest in so many other areas of your life but when it comes to romantic love this presents a particular challenge for you you are who i have created this program for right so this is for everyone who is ready to go deeper to go higher to go wider in your ability to have the love that you want so if this resonates at all with you i hope to see you inside of believe and receive and I will be back with more episodes at some point. I can't tell you exactly when right now, but if you do want to have access to me on a monthly basis and, you know, be inside this community learning from me, we're also going to have live video calls. So you will get to talk to me and ask your questions and all of that. Then check out Believe and Receive. Okay. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful rest of your day, wherever you are in the world. And yeah, sending you lots of love. Bye. Thank you.